triple, triple, quad, quad, triple, triple, quad, triple, triple, quad, quad, triple, triple, quad. Go, Tiffany! Hey guys, it's Madison. Welcome back to my little corner on the internet. Today, we are talking about one of the weirdest MLMs yet, or a very, very strange MLM. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Some of the OG subs, you guys are gonna have some major flashbacks. But before we get into that, if you enjoy deep dives and like to analyze, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. The comment I'm choosing to highlight in this video is, if you want to be featured in the next video, definitely leave an interesting or funny comment down below. And well, let's get into it. I've covered a lot of weird businesses on my channel, but this one has got to be one of the weirdest ones yet. I'm just warning you right now, get ready to cringe or just be amazed and confused all at the same time. A friend of mine, Roberto, sent me this very bizarre live stream, but well, before I explain what's going on here, I think I just need to show you the video that he sent me. Y'all, yeah, smoky blue ice crystal is to die for. Gorgeous, 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 I know, Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, so um, what is that? This over-enthusiastic Facebook live streamer is currently doing a ring bong party. Those of you who saw my Pearl Party video are probably having major flashbacks right now. I know I am. But this company isn't actually Vantel Pearls. It's a completely different company called Ring Bomb Party, but the structure and how they do things is almost identical to Vantel Pearls. Ring Bomb Party is an MLM, a multi-level marketing company, which is a pyramid scheme with a product where 99% of people involved lose money. But on top of that, Ring Bomb Party heavily sprinkles in gambling tactics. So if you had a Venn diagram of gambling and MLMs, Right in the middle would be ring bomb parties. Two very predatory and crummy business models combine into one. So let's see how ring bomb party describes itself. Reveal beautiful custom designed jewelry through live parties. Number one, order your inventory. You will receive ring bombs with custom designed rings inside that are always a surprise. Inventory changes frequently for your customers to always enjoy the excitement of new reveals. Two, let the fizz begin. Once you receive your inventory, it's time to party. You can sell through Ring Bomb Party's point of sale system, on Facebook Live, in store boutiques, and more. Three, get paid to party. As a Ring Bomb Party hostess, you will earn between 20 to 35% profit on all personal sales plus bonus commissions from your downline. Now that's the bomb. And this is how they explain their multi-level marketing structure. Building a business is multifaceted like a jewel or a mirror of horrors. There's three phase consultant titles so that you can lose all of your money, but through three different phases. Number one is I've sunk a little bit of money into this, dipping my toes into the ring bomb. Phase two is I I am doing this. Oh wow, this this is something that I am doing on a consistent basis now. And phase three is there, there's no turning back, I am in too deep. The only credit that I will give Ring Bomb Party is at least it doesn't have, or it doesn't seem to have any animal cruelty involved as opposed to pearl parties. But the thing is, these types of jewelry reveal parties are a complete scam. The excitement of the prize revealed in a semi-extravagant or at least very interesting way on a Facebook Live is all designed to hook people in and get them purchasing as much as possible. And the real value or retail price is complete BS. Exactly like QVC or those jewelry magazines that my grandma used to buy from all the time, unfortunately. All of it is costume jewelry and everyone buying into this stuff 
is just getting tricked. But the thing is, these parties are made to be so fun to watch that you completely forget that you're being scammed. They distract you with all of the weirdness like a magician or a con man. But to really understand how and why people get sucked into this stuff, let's watch some more of that ring bomb party that Roberto sent me. The whole thing, by the way, is three hours and 30 minutes. We're not, we're not gonna be watching all of that. No, no, but Let's watch some of it. Hey everybody, I'm just getting everything set right back up to where it was. We are waiting on Alexis and we are waiting for everybody to hop back on. Hey Alicia, how are you doing? Woohoo! Oh my goodness, fabulous night, Miss Alicia. Okay, so I'm gonna go do a ring count while we're waiting on everybody to get here. Let's go see. So the consultant starts off welcoming everyone, showing what it looks like to me is the ring bomb options and people get to kind of choose the options and she makes fun names for it like Alice or the Cheshire Cat. Four earrings left in the house, that's it. Four left in the house, there are no other earrings and I'm not sure, like I said, when we'll have some more. So actually I should make these sound for you. No sound on the Dormouse. No sound on the Dormouse. No sound on Tweedledum little bit of a sound on Chezzy. Also, if you can already tell, this rep r really loves Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland, but she really loves Alice in Wonderland. Let me know, let me know which one you want. The Cheshire Cat right there, Chezzy the Cat. Once again, it's this gambling thing. You have these earrings in a box and you have to choose which one you want and is this box gonna have this valuable earring set when really all you're choosing is four options of crap i'm sorry like worthless crap if you enjoy worthless crap that's great i enjoy some worthless crap every once in a while but it's only fair that you know this it's this whole illusion that you're gonna choose this valuable one it's like gambling it really is and it's so sad how people do get sucked into this and end up spending a lot of money because of that dopamine reward payoff. All right, here are your size sevens right there, size sevens. Queen of Hearts is a big bomb, y'all. Queen of Hearts and Alice. Here we go, here we go. Which one do you want? Yay! Let me know. If your name is called on the live stream, you get to say what ring bomb you want. Da -da -da. Three, you're in. Yellow and green right here. One, two, three, you're in. She has bowls of glitter and water that she pours the ring bombs into. Wow, oh wow. You have a size nine right there. It's an incredible style featuring lab created bright amethyst and white topaz on a triple rhodium plated band. Retail value $164. Lab created bright amethyst and white topaz. But you look at the side of it and it, it just looks like plastic. I have zero jewelry taste. I mean, look at my wedding ring, so I'm one to talk. But I would just think that they got this at like, like Claire's, honestly. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry if you like that type of jewelry. I don't mean any offense by it, but that's just what would come to mind if I saw someone wearing this. So they're saying that the retail value is $164, but if I remember correctly, to purchase one of these is only $17. I would honestly guess that the cost of production for this is less than $5. 100%. But of course, if you are a jewelry expert, I would love to know from your perspective what you think the cost of production for this type of jewelry would be. Two, three, you're in. Yellow and green right here. One, two, three, you're in and purple. It looks like this rep is loving what she does. If you enjoy this, like, that's fine. Just don't scam people for it. If you're not scamming others and you love just doing this kind of stuff for fun, that's amazing. But like, just don't sell a pyramid scheme on top of that and don't scam people into thinking they're buying something that's worth something when it's not. Let's get you some good luck sparkle. Magic sparkles on these rings. Magic 
sparkles on these rings. Let's get Kathy some blingity bling bling bling. She pours magic sparkles on these rings. Um, is this all for the gimmick of it or does she actually believe that she's pouring magic sparkles on these rings? She's so convincing, I have no idea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Either way, great, we love it. The way that she's even talking, it reminds me of like some sort of like Las Vegas showman and an auctioner that's like blingity bling bling bling. I don't know, I'm bad at impersonations as you can tell. Here we go, here we go. Come on, Chessy, come do your thing. Here we go. Good juju, good juju, good juju. Who's supposed to be watching this? Are adults supposed to be watching this? Or is this for kids, which is even worse? I'm very confused by this. What? What? Good juju, good juju, good juju on your ring bombs. Woo! Go, Kathy! Here we go, here we go. You're wanting the cruise ship, you want the Titanic? Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Miss Kathy, let's see what you get. I can't help but feel like what happens is people continuously gamble on these parties because they wanna get this ring or that ring. And so they continue putting money in more and more, hoping they'll get the ring that they want. And then when they do, they have that exciting payoff that they wanna put more money in. And it's just this money pit for people who are easily susceptible to these types of gambling scams. Oh my goodness, oh, ring bomb, ring bomb. Let's see, let's see. That one is a floater right there. Floater with a little bit of ring bomb in there. Let's see what this one is. Here we go. You have one floater and one hiding. There it is, right there. Here we go, here we go. There's two. Now you have two of them in this one. Oh my gosh, right there. All right. I think this would be so cool if instead of like sparkles and everything, there's like black smoke and it, it was like a cauldron that she was going into and she had this like big spoon that she like scooped out the ring in. Here we go. You have four rings right there. Four rings. Here we go, here we go. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get, Kathy. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, flash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a double, triple ring. Double, triple ring. $200 retail value. $224. Woo. $224 on that reveal right there. Once again, it just means nothing. It means nothing. But either this presenter is acting so excited to fool her audience into getting really excited too and wanting to put more money in to get this triple stack ring, or she's also genuinely convinced that this is all real and legit and genuinely excited about it. And I don't know which one concerns me more. It just seems like these rings are wrapped in such cheap plastic. Like if they were these valuable expensive rings, why are they so carelessly wrapped in cheap plastic and then thrown in water? Just me. This is your size nine. It is an amazing design featuring lab created blue, sapphire, and white topaz on a triple rhodium plated band Retail value $156. This is also known as the Titanic. It is a very tall ring. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So person after person, this rep continues to show the ring bombs and have the sparkles and the Cheshire cat bless the water with good bling luck time and time again with excessive enthusiasm and energy for three hours. What, 
what is this lady doing and can I have some of it? Because even just filming for 30 minutes by the end, I'm exhausted. I do not know how she does it. The live stream then ends with her literally doing this like spinning wheel for free prizes. Once again, in complete gambling fashion and style, it's MLMs and gambling, two really predatory and dangerous business structures. But it's made to be all fun and innocent because there's the Cheshire cat and sparkles everywhere. So while this is all incredibly entertaining, we can't forget that vulnerable people could be getting scammed by this, thinking that they're getting a steal on jewelry, when in fact someone is stealing from them. Uh -oh. 